All right, guys, today I want to show you on how to remove the Google account from a um, Arcatel One Touch. As you can see, I'm stuck here with my own account right now, but um, I just wanted to show you on how to do it. So we're going to press and hold the swipe button here. It's going to take you to this menu here. We're going to go to help. We're going to go on how to swipe. And we're going to select anything on here. All right. Then on top, we're going to go to search. And that's going to take us to the um, Google um, app right here. All right. So this is different than everybody else on YouTube right now. At least I haven't seen it on YouTube. This is something that um, I came up with. So um, we're going to type in Chrome. As you can see right there, Chrome, that's where we want to go. We're going to go to Chrome. We're going to hit Set and Continue. We're going to hit No Thanks. We don't want to sign in, okay? Over here, we're going to type in Quick Shortcut Maker. Quick Shortcut Maker, okay? We Click on that. We're going to go up a little bit and go to the second link right here. APK mirror. So we click on that. We click on the second one. We might have to download it twice and I will tell you why. We're going to go up. Okay. As you can see, download APK. That's where you want to go. Gonna click on download APK. And um, I'm assuming it's downloading, yep. All right. Click OK. Click open. And we're gonna have to go to settings here. All right, we go to settings and we're going to Allow all known sources. All right. And then we're going to go back. Okay, it's going to take us over here again. So what you're going to do, you're going to go back again and download the A APK again. Now that we got the all known sources on, we're going to download the APK. Okay, you click OK on that, replace it because you don't need two of them. Open. And we're going to install it now. All right, we're going to accept that. And we're going to open. All right, we're here. So on top, we're going to type in Google, well, let me see if I'm doing it right. We're going to type in Google. Okay, I think I, I spelled it wrong. All right, so we got to go to Google Account Manager. Manager. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go up a little bit. And you're going to go to type email and password. We're going to go to try. All right. And we're going to hit the three dots on top. And we're going to go into browser sign in. All right. All right. We're here. We're going to click OK. All right. I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to pause the video for one minute to sign in into my um, on Gmail account and I'll be right back all right guys I'm in it's gonna take you back to the screen right here so at this point the only thing you got to do is, is hit the back the back button you're gonna hit it we're gonna go all the way back to the uh, the setup all the way back to the beginning you're going to take it all the way back. You're going to get out of there. Make sure you're connected to the internet. 
and you're gonna come here and we're gonna start up the the setup again. You're gonna skip that. All right, so it's gonna ask you to add an account. So we're gonna hit next. All right, skip anyway. More, more, next. All right, and we're in the phone, guys. Um, if you want to reset the phone, it's going to be your own account that is going to be on there. So if you want to reset it, you just got to type in your password. If you're going to sell the phone or something, I recommend for you to type in your password and reset the whole phone. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it right now. And uh, that's the only way because I've been trying different things. So good luck, guys. Thank you.